SpaceX successfully launched a new batch of Starlink internet satellites on Wednesday, marking the company's 10th launch in as numerous weeks. A two-stage Falcon 9 rocket launched 48 Starlink satellites into PATH from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida at 8.45 a.m. The rocket's first stage also returned to Earth for a smooth touchdown at Ocean on the SpaceX drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. In today's video, we'll tell you all about this recent launch. But before that, make sure you press that red subscribe button along with that tiny bell icon to get updated every time we post new videos. Let's get started. Time to let the American broomstick fly and hear the sounds of freedom, the company's launch director said on SpaceX's live stream just before the Falcon 9 rocket sent 48 satellites into orbit from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The unnamed launch director statement was a poke at the head of the Russian space agency, Roscosmos, Dmitry Rogozin. Last week, Rogozin said that Russia would no longer supply rocket engines to the US after President Joe Biden's warrants over the war in Ukraine. In a situation like this, we cannot supply the United States with our world's best rocket engines, Rogozin said on state-run TV. Let them fly in something else, their broomsticks, I don't know what. The satellite launch was the company's 10th periodic launch in a row. To date, SpaceX has over satellites en route. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk plans to produce a constellation of over Starlink satellites in his trouble to give low-cost internet to remote locales. It's not the first time that SpaceX has battered with Rogozin. Last week, Musk responded to a tape on Twitter of his company launching 47 satellites into route with a screenshot of Rogozin's comments emphasized along with the words American Broomstick and four US flags. Musk and Rogozin have also fought on Twitter over the billionaire's decision to offer Starlink internet services in Ukraine. Russia's space chief has gotten very aggressive on Twitter since his country launched an attack on Ukraine. Most lately, Rogozin and former NASA astronaut Scott Kelly engaged in a brawl on Twitter in which Kelly suggested Rogozin find a job at McDonald's, and Rogozin invited Kelly to get a brain test. Rogozin's aggression online is a sign that space relations and collaboration between the US and Russia might be nearing an end. The space chief has indeed made comments forewarning that the tenuous relationship between Russia and Western nations could destroy Russia's cooperation with NASA and lead to the demise of the International Space Station as NASA relies on Russian propulsion to periodically boost the station on its route around Earth. At the time, Musk responded to Rogozin's thread on Twitter with a SpaceX logo, suggesting that his company could step in to save the ISS. There's been some discussion that the company could help fill the gap by using the SpaceX Dragon, though the spacecraft isn't meant to serve as a long-term result. In the meantime, Roscosmos and NASA have said they're continuing to work together despite Rogozin's commentary online. That's all for today. Let us know your views in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.